Ladies and gentlemen, we've um, watched over a period of years um, while a group of people who were voluntarily disarmed by U.S. troops in 2003 were guaranteed protected person status under the Fourth Geneva Convention in July of 2004 in a writing signed by a major general of the U.S. Army that was reiterated by another major general of the U.S. Army who was commanding the multinational force in Iraq in October of 2005. We've stood by and watched while those people have been systematically slaughtered by Iraqi troops using weapons and equipment supplied by the United States and training provided by the United States, while the United States government has stood by and done nothing. In 2009 and 2011, as you've heard, a total of 47 people were killed in attacks that were recorded on video. The attacks took place while a U.S. Secretary of Defense was in country, in Iraq, an intentional slap in the face of the United States. The United States government asked the MEK to move from Ashraf to Liberty, hinted that this was a price for removing the organization from the list of foreign terrorist organizations, a list on which it should never have been and was only because of an ill-conceived sop to the Iranian government that didn't work. It's hard for me to say that without my voice breaking and without my conscience breaking. Those guarantees have not been fulfilled. As the U.S. government withdrew, the Iraqis refused repeatedly to protect the residents and repeatedly launched attacks. There were rocket attacks on Camp Liberty that killed 10, ten people. The, Iraq, the Iraqi government professes to be mystified at who perpetrated them. And then on September 1, 52 of the people who remained behind at Ashraf, as you've heard, were killed in cold blood. Many shot with their hands behind their backs. They had ID cards, ID cards issued by the United States. Those cards, regrettably, were not bulletproof. They were cards like this, protected person. You're a protected person. This is issued by the United States. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this isn't going to change by itself if we don't act. You know, we, we see scenes like that, and the sense, you, you get a sense that nature itself would rebel against it and do something. But it doesn't, folks. It goes on and on and on unless people like the people in this room and like the friends of the people in this room and like the government of the United States stand up and do something about it. So for God's sake and for their sake, let's all stand up. <laughs>